Initializing monetization. Monetization process successful. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Live ZMU TV. Raw and uncut, I am your host, Armand Nicholas. Today we're going to be talking about a uh, topic, a question actually, um, that one of our members sent or actually it's not even a member, it's just an inquiry from another uh, YouTuber that just started and they were asking the topic of why go after YouTube keywords? So pretty much they're asking why is it important or what are the reasons why as a YouTuber we should go after using certain keywords on YouTube or on Google to help our videos or help our channel. So today we'll be discussing that so once again I thank you for joining us uh, in this short episode and uh, if you haven't done so yet please make sure that you subscribe to the channel uh, hit the like button if you like what you hear and of course post the comments post comments that you feel you've um, learned from this uh, short episode or if you have any questions about this episode please let us know and we'll be more than happy to address them so let's go right into it why go after keywords that are uh, you or why go after YouTube keywords well there's a couple things that you have to understand in today's world it's not like YouTube is not like when it first started many years ago where people just randomly uploaded videos and others just watch them um, you know it, it's no longer that it's it's more commercialized it's more competitive nowadays and in order to gain momentum and gain subscriptions and subscribers you have to show up on the search engines you have to actually show up as the top results because of there's so many videos that are popping up okay with over 2 billion of monthly active users I mean think about that 2 billion active users of YouTube you know YouTube videos deliver a massive amount worldwide audience you know that no business can afford to ignore okay that is a lot of users okay it's one of the largest if not the largest platform of video uploads in the market today okay and since YouTube is built much like a search engine you can use keywords okay and tags to take advantage of the ranking opportunities you can use these words to bring your video on the top results okay many of the uh, YouTube keywords out there uh, are, are formatted okay so there's a lot of YouTube keywords softwares or applications or apps okay that offers a set of YouTube keyword research features that will help you discover what is the most effective keywords to use in the particular video that you're using okay make your uh, make your video go up in searches that's one of the results of using uh, YouTube keywords okay it also allows you can also use you can also use the YouTube autocomplete uh, feature on YouTube. So autocomplete is when you start typing a specific word on YouTube search, it'll autocomplete it for you, and you can use a lot of those words if it pertains to your video. Okay, and of course, a lot of these softwares and applications also feature an, anal uh, an analysis uh, uh, feature onto the software. It allows you to analyze your video it allows you to to make judgments about how to market your video how to position your video and of course it could potentially allow you to make changes to your videos depending on the the, the keywords that should be applicable to you now we probably you probably may or may not already know that keywords in the title keywords in the description keywords in your tags are all searchable so you have to build your channel and configure your channel to absorb all of those different aspect of, of how to rank your video 
okay? There's a lot of different programs and a lot of different software out there. So the bottom line is using YouTube keywords, whether it's the application base or whether it's the search engine on, on the autocomplete on, you, on YouTube, whether you're using a free version or an app that actually yeah, you have to subscribe to, there's a lot of huge advantages on using these features and these softwares, okay? Now, if you need a little bit of help as to what some of these um, applications are, please look down in the description. I'll list down all of the uh, different apps that I actually found out there. A lot of them are free to use or a lot of them are trial version and a lot of them are just a lot of common sense, okay? So a lot of people will go right into one of the biggest things about using YouTube keywords. And one of the biggest questions that they have is, is it actually that important? Why, you know, why is, why, why are your keywords in your videos so important? Well, to answer that question, you might not, you know, you, you might not actually think about it. Like what I said earlier, YouTube is a massive search engine. Okay, it's the second largest search engine out there. Obviously, what's the first? Google and, you know, it's the same company. But nonetheless, it is a massive search engine that people use to rank their videos. Okay, optimizing your content for the keywords that are, uh, that, that are, that matches popular YouTube searches will allow your videos to be exposed or visible to a lot of the viewers out there, a lot of the subscribers out there, okay? YouTube search queries, okay, is essential for getting views. Help, you know, it helps the user. It helps the user find your videos in the never-ending sea of videos that are being uploaded to YouTube on a regular basis, okay? YouTube videos, uh, you know, uh, are, are also, you know, there are still people that are used the hashtag option, right, in the title, on the description. It's not heavily popular anymore, but people still do use hashtags, right? But in today's world, YouTube searches are no longer a hashtag. It's an actual word or phrase that people put together to find those videos, all right? Secondly, uh, some of the second uh, most frequently asked question is, how to find keywords on YouTube videos, right? <laughs> how to find the keywords on YouTube videos. Today, every every word that you have on your uh, description or on your video or in your title and the tags are all keywords now they're all searchable okay enter your seed enter your main keyword and the uh, application whichever application that you're using will actually look through the YouTube autocomplete section or other apps that are suggest uh, that are suggested to be used you'll find those applicable keywords that you should be using on your video to allow it to be visible to the viewers okay how to see which YouTube keywords. Okay, the third one, the free, uh, most asked question is how to see which YouTube keywords are most popular. Again, it's gonna be by results. They do actually have analytics on this. They actually have uh, uh, data as to what words are heavily used in the search engines, right? So the trending options on Google search, right? You can actually Google this or you can actually do research on this and type in what are the most popular words being used on keywords or on YouTube in the last month, it'll show you what are being searched on a regular basis, all right? Um, the trends, the trends that change on a, on a daily, weekly, and a monthly basis. You can actually use those trending uh, topics and use them in your key, uh, as your keywords if your videos pertain to those topics. It'll allow you to rank faster, okay? The amount of data that is being sent out there when it comes to keywords and YouTube is 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 immeasurable i mean it's terabytes of data that are being that are being compiled and being used by youtube to in order to rank someone's video so the days of uploading your video randomly is no longer there you actually have to market you actually have to use certain applications and certain softwares and certain apps that will allow you to rank your video. Now, obviously, this goes along with the concept of you are trying to market your, your channel. Now, if you're just using YouTube as a large hard drive to store your videos, instead of you storing them because you make a lot of videos, then it's a different story. You're not really trying to market your channel. You're, you're using it as a hobby, but if you are trying to market your channel and you want you know, more subscribers, you want, you know, you want to try to uh, monetize your channel or you want to earn revenue from your channel, you actually have to play the game. You have to play the game of survival against all of these other uh, YouTubers that are out there just like you, okay? So hopefully 
this was, uh, you know, you were able to kind of grasp a little bit of understanding as to some of the uh, uh, features of why to use, you know, YouTube keywords and things like that. Uh, in, a set, in, a, in a minute here, we're going to go into some of the examples that I found that are popular uh, softwares or applications that you could use. In the meantime, please take this opportunity. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do hit that uh, subscribe button and hit the bell button as well to ensure that you'll be notified when future videos are available. So let's get into some of the options, some of the applications and softwares and websites that are out there that will help you in your journey of utilizing the proper keywords for your videos or your channel, okay? There's a lot of them. These are just some of them, okay? So number one, one of probably the most popular one that is out there, TubeBuddy. I use TubeBuddy as, as well. I use the, I, I, I use the uh, free version of it just because I'm able to surmise you know, what keywords I should be using in my channel, in my videos. So I use the free software, the free version of it that helps me with all of the different analytics or analytical um, uh, features of it that, that I can analyze my videos and I can analyze my score and things like that. But there is a paid version of it that is more robust. The paid version allows you to use the full feature that gives you all of the different most popular aggressive keywords that pertains to, to your video. Okay, so TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a freeware, okay, or, or what we call a freemium, a freemium browser extension for, uh, for Chrome-based um, browsers, okay. It adds like a sidebar. It puts a sidebar on your, uh, on your browser when you're on YouTube or uh, watching a video, okay, with additional keyword data, right. On the search, uh, on the search result, you'll see the search explorer overlay, okay? This overlay shows the estimated global search volume, you know, comp uh, 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 competition and the overall, I guess, keyword performance or keyword score of a specific keyword that you're searching for. So, you know, if you're using a word that only has a result of 2,000 searches, versus another word that you can apply to your video and it has 100,000 searches on YouTube, you may want to use that, you know, that, that, higher, that higher search um, uh, volume, okay? Now, according to YouTubeBuddy, their keyword score tells you how good a keyword is to target based on your, on, uh, on, on, on search volume and competition. It actually gives you a score that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable about how strong that particular keyword is that you're about to use, okay? So that's two buddy. Number two, vidIQ. I'm, su I'm sure that some of you have already heard of vidIQ. Look down in the description, you'll see the link for vidIQ. It is also a freemium, right? There's a free uh, uh, version of it and then of course, there's the paid version and that's more robust. Just mo It's just like TubeBuddy. It's a direct competition of TubeBuddy. So use which one you're, you know, you prefer better. Which, you know, use the software or application that you feel a little bit more comfortable in using. Um, you know, their, their, their user interface is, is a little bit more friendlier to you than others. So use the specific ones that is more appropriate for your preference, okay? Now, number three. Um, I'm hoping I, I pronounce this right. It's uh, Ahrefs, right? Ahrefs Keyword Explorer, okay? Link is at the bottom of the description as well. Um, keywords here runs on a database of over, I believe if I'm not mistaken, 640 million YouTube keywords, okay? I mean, 640 million YouTube keywords, that already right there tells you how competitive YouTube is nowadays. That 640 million, all right, and 2 billion active users per month. I mean, that should tell you how competitive YouTube has become, right? You can search on this particular uh, uh, application. You can search for almost any keyword and see metrics, right? See metrics powered by Clickstream, right? Clickstream data, all right? And it includes local and global search um, volumes. So you're not just, uh, you know, it's not just giving you the local results, local, you know, volume data. It gives you the global volume data depending on that keyword that you're using or you're trying to search, okay? So it's a pretty aggressive system. Again, 
there's the uh, uh, free version of it is very very limited and then of course there's the paid version of it and a lot of people um, that do a lot of global YouTubing where you know there's a lot of subscribers that they're time that they try to target worldwide they use that platform to give their videos or their channel a little bit of a boost okay now number four this one is a little bit simpler it's a lot it's a lot easier to to do research on and it's very robust as well there's something called Google Trend okay Google Trend is exactly what it sounds like it's the trending topics it's the it's the trending searches on Google okay I don't have the data in front of me I completely forgot how many how many searches are being done per hour if I'm not mistaken per hour yeah I think it is it's per hour Google processes 400,000 searches per hour right and I believe per day per day Google processes 40 billion searches whether it's random word searches or random uh, uh, keyword searches or a, a, a search for a, spe a specific topic or title I mean it's it's a very very uh, uh, robust system and using Google Trend allows you to discover what is actually trending out there it allows you to utilize that data to see <coughs> if you're able to create a video around those trending topics on Google so Google Trends shows whether you know interest in a topic on YouTube is rising or declining over time okay it kind of shows you last month the big you know the big uh, topic was so and so the movie star today the big topic on Google obviously the pandemic that's going on around the world right so there's a lot of different ways you can use that data to your advantage all right for example uh, if you search Apple watch on Google uh, 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 and YouTube search from the drop down if you set the country to the United States the results will be set for the res uh, for for you to receive the data that's specific to the word Apple Watch or keyword Apple Watch just based on the United States or you can go global and see how many people around the world is actually searching Apple Watch all right next number five is the YouTube auto suggest it's probably the easiest tool to use um, obviously just because we're always on the homepage for our YouTube and you using the auto uh, complete ver uh, uh, feature of YouTube it's fairly simple all you do is you go into the search type in one word that you may be interested in and all of a sudden you'll notice that this drop down on the search box will appear with all of the different options that will complete that phrase or that keyword right or that word it'll, it'll, it'll show you so the very first one is obviously the most popular search phrase or search keyword so you might want to use that one on your video or in your tags or in your description right it's a fairly simple tool to use all right number six you can also use something called uh, keyword tool .io. keyword tool .io is a freemium tool that is essential okay it's, a, it's a, essentially a bulk YouTube suggested <laughs> scraper okay um, it basically scrapes everything that's out in the market out there okay it's a very very robust system um, a lot of uh, companies or, or, or bigger YouTube or YouTube channels or youtubers use this feature to take advantage of every single nook and cranny of keyword you know uh, features or being able to take it take advantage of all of those options that they have using those keywords that they have in mind or uh, dissect out of their videos maybe you know I mean as a company your advantages is only as good as how well you market your business um, compared to your competition right well that doesn't mean that we as a small youtuber cannot use that obviously we can um, it is a, a freemium base but there is a much more robust um, uh, application where you can kind of pay for the uh, software as well okay number seven um, it's it's something called a one-stop SEO software if you just type in on Google one-stop uh, SEO software there's a free version of it it's not very robust but as a small youtuber any help that you can get on your uh, on your uh, SEO process is going to help you it's only gonna allow you to grow your channel even more and more and grow it faster right so you know it's a free software use it right and number eight last but not least is 
moz.com m-o-z moz.com it's a free uh, it's a free keywords um, research tool all right uh, it's under moz.com's uh, website so you can certainly use that it's free to try obviously right it's a it's a fairly aggressive one uh, I'll be honest I haven't really used it that much I used it I think two or three times um, I myself use TubeBuddy quite a bit just because of the fact that the user interface is a lot more friendly for me to use um, it's colorful you know it's a it's a little easier on the eye so I, I I tend to gravitate towards ease of use right instead of complicated ones but they all have their advantages bottom line is if you're using you know with any with any of these applications that I uh, that I mentioned if you even use one or two of them if you even use any of them that's a that's a leg up already you're already ahead of the game you're already marketing and you're already improving your videos and your possibility of visibility you're already improving that so any using any of them is is, is a huge benefit uh, right off the get-go all right so again final thoughts all right if you want more views on YouTube right then targeting keywords with search volume results is crucial right because if you want more views, your video has to appear as one of the top results when someone searches a specific topic or content um, pertaining to your video. So being able to use those keywords is crucial in the survival of your channel, okay? So with that said, use the tools. Use the tools that are there for you. There's a lot of free software. There's a lot of free trials. There's a lot of free, free um, um, applications out there that you can use to help you gain momentum in growing your channel. Take advantage of those and find several rel relevant keywords from other people as well, searching for those for those uh, um, uh, topics, okay? Then create the videos around them because if you actually have an idea of a particular video that you wanna create, but on, prior to creating it, you wanted to do research as to, if I create this video, what keywords can I use? Because if you have your keywords first, think about this, okay? I told you that your title, that your description, and that your tags are searchable. So if you have an idea as far as what type of video you're going to do or you're going to, you're going to make, prior to doing that video, research the keywords that apply to that topic. Because when you make your videos, you can actually say those words inside your video. And by saying those words inside your video and by putting those words in your descriptions and in your title, your entire video is searchable. And it puts you in the top ranking results of YouTube. So with that said, that gives you a massive advantage towards any other competition or any other video that is being uploaded by other YouTubers out there. So please, Take heed uh, uh, and take the, take the information that I presented you and, you know, digest it, you know, evaluate it and see if it applies to you. And obviously, if it does, that's great. We're just here to help, right? And in the meantime, if this uh, video was of value to you, please make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell button and make sure that you leave some comments down below and let us know what you think and what your thoughts are. And if you have any questions or topics that you want us to research or topics that you want us to address, feel free to leave those in the comment section and we'll, we'll jot them down and we'll take notes of it and we'll put out the video for it um, in the near future. So once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Armand Nicholas. T Team ZMU thanks you for taking the time and watching this short episode. Goodbye. Initializing monetization. Monetization process successful.